Welcome, everyone. Gentle awakening, the body. Close your eyes, draw your shoulders up to your ears and draw them back down, opening the chest and do this three more times, up to your ears, back to down, nice and slow in your own time. Then one shoulder up, feel that one shoulder up to the ear and down and then the other and down and slowly release your shoulders back and breathe. For now, just rest here and breathe. No need to do anything. Just breathing into your own lungs. You have your own lungs, you have your own heart, you have your own organs, your own nose. Which are going to stay with you for a while, while you are here in this physical dimension. And then you depart from each other. One more deep breath, exhale. And then arms to the side, inhale, reach up. Join your hands and then exhale down, chin to chest. Inhale, reach up, join again, look up, exhale down, chin to chest. One more. And then one arm back to behind you and then the other arm back behind you, open the chest, open and look up, chin back, keep breathing, opening. And then slowly, slowly, cautiously, chin down, hands down to your knees and pull your belly in and round your spine. And we do this one more time. So come back to normal. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, one hand down behind you. And then the other. Open. Look up. Keep breathing. And then very slowly, chin down, hands to the knees. And round your spine. Feel that opposite movement now. And then we next inhale forward, pushing your chest forward, opening the heart. Exhale back. The previous one. Feeling the spine really starting to awaken. And then inhale again and exhale. Inhale. And exhale, three more on your own. And back to center, well done. And then do a twist one side and again, Open the chest, try to draw the shoulder back. Look back behind you. 
keep breathing and the opposite. And then release, shake your shoulders and arms. Shake your hands. Every way. Open, close. And we're gonna massage the head, with these fingers that are awakened. The massage behind the ears and the ears, the earlobes. And the face, we're starting with the forehead, temples, and face. And nose. Bridge of the nose, we're gonna hold it for three seconds. So press your uh, thumbs in the bridge of the nose upwards. So start one, pressing, two, three. And then pinching your eyebrows. And one more time, bridge of the nose, press one, two, three, and then now down and under the eyes. Nice, gentle massage. And then back to the temples. And down to your face. And down on the side of your neck. And back. Very good, and release again. So now we are a little bit more awake. We're gonna start breathing practice. So the next one will be the square breath, which means we are doing uh, an inhalation for the count of four, and then hold, and then exhalation for the count of four, and then hold, and then again, we start inhale. So everything will be the, for the same amount of time. Inhale four, hold four, exhale four, hold four, right? So let's just get ready. Close your eyes. Read. Just one second. Start. <clears throat> Exhale fully. Inhale one, two, three, four. Hold one, two, three, four. Exhale one, two, three, four. Hold one, two, three, four. Inhale one, two, three, four. Hold one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two, three, four. Carry on. You might want to extend your breath to five, but then everything should be extended. So it's the same amount of time.
Just carry on with this square breath. Let's do one more round. And then release, breathe normally, feeling your mind a little bit more calm. And now alternate nostril breathing. Left hand, Gyan Mudra, right hand to the nose. And exhale fully. Inhale through both nostrils. Close the right, exhale left, and then we start. Inhale left. Close to left, exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. This was one round, three more rounds. Two more rounds. <laughs> Last round. And hands down and breathe normally. Very good. Rub your palms together. Cover your eyes. And come and lie down on your back. Don't get too excited. So from here, we're going to draw the feet up. So get ready for bridge pose. First, just feel your lower back. Firmly pressing down. And then feel your feet all the toes firmly pressing down. And then we're gonna lift the hips up very slowly, starting from the buttocks, lifting, lifting all the way as far as you can. We are not pushing too hard and then slowly back. And then repeat. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, down. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, down. And then we hold. Lift up and hold. You try to push up as high as you can, hugging with the knees, breathe. Really try to push as high as you can, but never force. Just go with the breath. And very slowly down, release, hug your knees. 
and rock from side to side. Great, from here, gonna lift the head up to the knees, really close, hug your knees. Keep breathing. And head down, keep your knees up. And from here, lift one leg up and the other. So just straighten the knees and circle your feet. Nice and gentle circles. The opposite. Slowly, not rushing anywhere. Arms can go to the side a little bit and then we open the legs out, breathe. And then back. Then out slowly. And then back. And three more, very slow opening. And back, two more. Back, and then the last one, we keep the leg out, the legs open and breathe bend the knees and do the circles like you were swimming in breaststroke nice big circles that's it Three, two, one, and then we do opposite way. Five times, two, three, four, and five. And legs up, and one leg goes down all the way, and then change. The other leg and carry on a few more times. That's it. Mm -hmm. One more time, just change up and down and slowly hug your knees. Great. Gonna rock up and down. Then come on to all fours. Rocking up to all fours. And then push forwards and backwards. Great. Pushing forwards. And then have the hands just under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Great. Hold it. And we start cat and cow. Five rounds. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, look up. Exhale. Inhale. And do three more. One more. Open your knees and child's pose, wide legged child's pose. Forehead down, stretch your whole body. Relaxing here.
Very good. Coming back to all fours. And our next is downward facing dog. So tuck your toes under, pushing up and pedal out. Hold your pose when you are ready and you feel you had enough pedals and hold, breathe. You're gonna hold it a little bit longer. And really trying to make it very right and perfect in a way, not the outside perfection. That's not what we need. We need the inside perfection. So you feel your hands, all fingers, you feel your feet, all toes and the heels pressing down. And then you feel your hips pushing up. You feel your arms being very active. Active arms. Active hands. Pulling in the belly. Two more breaths. Last one. Then slowly come back. And this time the child's pose with your arms back, forehead down, release. Letting the shoulders just relax here. Great. From here, just sit up. We're going to get ready to come into the equestrian pose. So with the right leg forward. So come onto your knees and the right leg forward. And as we are here, we just warm up, pushing forwards and backwards a little bit. And then stay in the forward pushing. Hands to the hips, open the chest. And from here, hands go down and inhale, arms up. Exhale down. Next time, you're going to bend to the left. So inhale, arms up. Exhale, left arm down and bending down to the left. Inhale, back up, bending down to the right. With the exhale. Inhale, back up. Now right arm front, left arm back. Look at the left hand, twist. Inhale, uh, back to center. Exhale, the opposite twist. And then inhale, stretch up again. Exhale, hands down. Gonna move from here, inhale forwards, a little bit more pushing forwards, exhale back with the hips. Half split, inhale, move forwards, exhale back. Three more. Last one, hips back, forehead down, stay there. Great, bring your right leg back and sit back down. Shake out, release. And then the other one. So up on your knees, left leg forward. Again, open the chest, little moving forwards, backwards, feeling the hips. Great, open the chest. Back to normal. And then inhale, arms up. Exhale down. Next time you're gonna bend to the right. Inhale up. 
Exhale to the right. Inhale back up. Exhale to the left. Inhale, left arm comes forward, right back. Look at the right hand. Inhale up, opposite. Look at the left hand. Inhale up, hands back down, exhale. And move forwards, backwards. Inhale forwards, exhale back. Two more. And staying after. The next one, we stay in the half split. Stay. Great. And then move your left leg back, sit back down and release. Very good. From here, we're going to come into the squat, but this squat where you have your heels together and the knees out, so the heels are off the floor, knees are open, yeah? So this type of squat, which is not the Indian squat or yogic squat. Okay, open your knees as much as you can, inhale, Open the front and exhale into forward folds. So now the heels are touching still, but down on the floor. And we have this V shape with the feet. Exhale, forward folds. And then we're going to come back again to squat. Inhale. And down, forward folds. And inhale down with the hips. Exhale, forward folds. Inhale down with the hips. Exhale, forward folds. Two more. Last one. And stay in the forward folds, but open your feet. Keep the distance. Stay there. Take your elbows, move side to side, breathing. Gently breathing. Let your arms just hang. Slowly rolling back up into standing. Vertebrae by vertebrae and shaking out a little bit. Okay, shake out. Legs. Okay, let's circle the feet as you stand on one foot, circle the other one. And the other way. Up and down. Move the toes. And then lift the knee up. Stretch the leg. And again, bend and down. Shake out. Then the other leg. So now circle the other foot. Up and down. And move the toes. The knee up. Stretch. Back. And down. Release. <clears throat> Circle the hips. Feel nice openings. Every way. Other way, circle. Okay. 
side. And then release. Okay, so come to the top of your mat. From here, we're gonna take the, actually I'm a little bit back because I need the front part. We're gonna do warrior one and warrior three and then other things. So a little bit of strengthening today. So we take the left leg back into warrior one, open the chest, left heel pushing downwards, sticking to the mat. The right knee is bent. So make sure you try to square your hips to the front, but not on the expense of your left knee. Arms up, stretch up, and your warrior one, hold. Left leg very, very active. So left leg is the most active in this pose. And your hips and breathe, look forward. Feeling very strong. Strong warrior, great. And slowly arms come down and then lift your left heel and come into high lunge. Interlace the fingers at the back. Push your hands down. You are in high lunge, which means left leg active, right leg bent. Open chest, open and look up. And then we're gonna bend forward, lifting the arms. Again, this is as much as you can. Using your muscles, core and leg muscles, we come back up. And release your arms and come into warrior three. So come onto your right leg, hop onto your right leg, lifting the left, push your arms back. And breathe. Warrior three. You are like a letter T. Capital T. <laughs> Beautiful. And release, come back. Oh, be strong warriors. Huh? Okay, let's do the other side. So first little uh, relax here, catching your breath and then right leg back, warrior one. Open the chest again. Establish your position with the right heel down, pushing down, right leg very active. Arms up and warrior one. Firm up your belly, breathe. The uh, upper arms are covering your ears. Great, arms down. Now lifting your right heel, arms to the back, interlace the fingers. Push your hands down, open, look up. Forward bend with the lifting the arms. As much as you can, don't worry how far you go. You are strong. Remember, you are strong. And then slowly up because you are strong. And then we go into warrior three. So from here, pushing your right leg back, the arms back, shoulders away from your ears, looking down, pull up your core, breathe. And release, come back, ah, shake out. And then hip circles, just to release.
side to side. Okay, standing feet hip width distance. Bring your right arm up, covering your ear and right ear to the right shoulder. Stretch your left arm down. And release other arm, left arm up, right in right shoulder, left in left shoulder. Great, and then chin to chest. Hands to the back of your head. Hands down, and we're gonna circle. Try to circle from the neck only. Opposite. Looking right and left. So this is your time to a little bit catch your breath <laughs> and then release, shake out. Okay, we go and carry on with the worry, uh, with the three position. Okay, so standing on your feet, both feet, really ground with your right, left knee up and do your three. Open your chest. Squeeze your bum, hands to the heart. Breathe. Arms up, overhead. And away. Stable three. And down. Nice one. Other leg. First, establishing your tree with the feet, legs, and then going higher up, squeeze your bum and focus your eyes. Arms up, stretch your arms, grow your branches. And away. And release. Shake out. Well done. So now we are back to a standing position and it is your pyramid. So now again, taking your left leg back not too far this time, because you want your right and left leg straight and left heel down. But now we take the hands to the back into the inverted namaste, like this. But of course, if this is not available, then you just hold your wrist in any way or like this, any way you can, okay? So, First, try to push your hands a little bit higher, as high as you can. Feel that, yes, there is a little tension building up in the arms. Open the chest. And with exhalation, trying to keep the spine straight, coming down, pulling the belly in. And now come all the way, keeping your feet nice, grounded. Breathe. Top of the head down, breathe, the arms are opening your chest. And then relax your arms down all the way, but you stay in the position. Breathe.
Great. One more deep breath. Coming back up with bending your right knee and slowly come up. And release. Shake out. And we go to the other side. So right leg goes back. Same way with the arms. Palms together at the back. Open the chest. And when you are ready, inhale, exhale, forward bend. Very good, everyone. As far as you can. Release your arms down. Breathe. Now relaxing your arms. Two more. Last one. Bend the left knee and slowly come up and step forward, release. Great. And come and squat down into the yogic squat. <clears throat> Just stay in your squat. Not good. Not good enough. Are you still in your squat? Good. <laughs> Stay there. Uh -huh. I don't know. Something is not right here, but I'm not sure how to fix it. But it's okay <laughs> for now. <laughs> so come and sit down. That's not very nice. I'm so, uh, I know what's the problem. Just sit down, shake out. Uh -huh. I know. Like this. Yeah, that's better. Okay. <laughs> Sitting down and shake out. Okay, bring your feet into butterfly and fluttering your wings. Not the best. <laughs> Flutter your wings. I'm not very happy with this. Okay, well, have to do. And then hold your wings down. Then forward bend. Butterfly is an excellent pose to open your hips and work with your hips. Staying a little bit longer, so you really get the feel. Two more. 
one. And slowly up, right leg goes out to the side, sit up, and then forward again. Bend forward, but now you're gonna feel a nice stretch on your right inner thigh. So try not to round your upper back, but stay upright, open your chest, and try to just go from your hips, not from your head. So it's not the head that is driving you, but your heart opening, forward pushing, breathing at the same time. Breathe. Breathe out, let it go. Slowly coming back up. And then change the leg. <clears throat> so left leg out and forward bend. And then slowly back. And then remember again to go and lead from your heart as we go into the forward bend with the straddle. The legs out, both of them. Open your chest, hands down, and try to keep your chest open as you go forward. So you are not rounding like this. Pushing forward, forward, as far as you can. If this is where you are, this is where you are. You are not trying to round. Stay and feel in your hips. Inhale and then exhale a little bit forward again. But you are not rounding your spine, keeping spine straight. and breathing. And whenever you feel you can go a little bit further, just step. Maybe, maybe it's one centimeter only, but you go gradually. You're not pushing, forcing. This is your own body. You know it better than anyone else. No one can tell you how far you should go. You know it. You can feel it. No one else can feel what's going on. Only you. So we are still working on the gradual letting go and not rounding your spine keeping this nice open chest another five breaths here so you know you can still go further because you still have four Last one. And then slowly back up. Ah, great. And then windscreen wipers, but nice and slow.
lying down on your elbows. Continue the windscreen wipers. Then lying down all the way, continue the windscreen wipers. Stay on the right side with the knees in the windscreen wipers. Let this all go. Breathe. Then the other side. Let it go again and feel that release. And then bring your knees back, hug your knees. Then slowly coming into Shavasana. <clears throat> Lie down for your final relaxation. And rest your body, rest your mind. Mind is rested when the mind is focused. And mind is just allowed to do whatever it wants. It's not resting. It's very stressful <laughs> when the mind is just allowed to do whatever. So now rest the body. In this moment, lie down and invite stillness. With each breath, let tensions melt away. Give yourself permission to be here. Let the earth receive you. In this moment, surrender the body. Float into effortlessness to spaces unknown, knowing that it is okay to let go. In this moment, no solutions are needed. Do not get caught in the riddles. Allow the journey to unfold as you travel through your inner landscape. In this moment, breathe into your potential. Imagine yourself unmasked and unbound. Connect with your heart voice. 
offering yourself to the world. In this moment, you are free. Feel gratitude for all that you are. The potential that lies within and outside. Let this be the beginning of something new. Be yourself, accept yourself, value yourself, forgive yourself, bless yourself, express yourself. Trust yourself, love yourself, and empower yourself. And slowly, slowly beginning to move fingers and toes. Begin to move the whole body, stretching out. And then hug your knees. Come down to one side. And sit up. Hands to the heart center. Under mantra, Om. Inhale. Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you for coming.